What up boys? This is the Shadow PvP pre and post raid best lists for the Dire Mall phase coming up next Wednesday. Um, this one's going to be uh, separate to the PvE one. I'm going to do the PvE one in a different video because otherwise it's going to be too long. And essentially what I'm going to be talking about a little bit at the start is kind of like the mindset behind what I've taken these choices or, or gone for these choices um, compared to some more conventional stuff and, and to be honest that's due to like I've been messing around with world PvP shadow for like a week or so now maybe two weeks just trying to get into fights trying to get into like 1v2s 1v3s like all sorts of crazy stuff like that and one thing I really noticed and, and felt like was a problem was wasn't wasn't the health wasn't the damage of the mana pool you tend to go um quite quick, and then you just don't have anything to deal with, like multiple people hitting you. And what would happen is we would we would fight somebody, we would get a good bit of damage into them, and if they were like remotely competent, then they would, you know, do something back and survive. And then you know we'd be fighting a couple of guys, they'd be doing some damage to us. We'd see see them a bit, have to heal up, and then at that point you like okay now I want to try and finish one of them off, but then. I was running Oom. So, with that in mind, I've decided health and mana are kind of the priority now over any sort of damage. Um, and then some sort of regen as well, like mana per five. And then, kind of after that, then we'll grab whatever ever spell damage we can. Uh, and in later phases, We'll be able to get more spell damage because these items with decent stamina int will have will have damage on as well. But currently, in at least in the pre-raid, there's very little that has good stats on and damage. Um, and in the post-raid, there's there's a few items, but not that many. So the spell damage doesn't actually scale that well for Shadow. Uh, a lot of the time, you're going to be mind blasting, paining, and more PvP. You're not going to be getting that many mind flays off, at least in in battles against multiple people. Be, uh, because you're going to be trying to, you know, survive and stuff as well, so globals are going to go on that. And Mind Blast gains really low coefficient from from spell damage. Shadow of Pain gains a decent bit, but Shadow of Pain is uh, it's not going to kill them quickly, right? It's, it's the Mind Blast that you're going to burst them down with, so the Pain is kind of an outlast tool. So we're going to we're kind of avoiding, we're well, not avoiding, we're not prioritizing spell damage as much. So to get into it, otherwise it's going to be, I'm going to babble on forever. We're going to start with the Dread Mist Mask and go with the, the Mask Belt combo. And I think that was in the previous one as well. This one's kind of an update for that. Uh, and that gives us 200 armor from the set and decent int stam on both pieces. Compared to the options. Neck, we've got Lady Maze. The other option, obviously, is the Jewel Damiel of Canewind, but that's a little bit lower in terms of stats. Um, and then your other op other options, if you don't want a BOE, are Dark Advisor's Pennon, which has got good damage on, if you're going for that route. You've got Anast Anastari Heirloom, which is a little bit less damage, more stamina, but less int. No int, in fact. That one's okay as well, if you've got it. And then Tooth of Gnar is okay as well. Tooth of Gnar, a lot of intellect on Tooth of Gnar, and then a little bit of regen and stamina too. So I'd say any of these top five are kind of okay for that slot. Kind of depends what you get, but obviously... This is the best list, so Lady Maze I think is the best. Then we've got four piece Necropile, starting with the Mantle. Necropile generally got a really good stam int on. Um, and we're going for the four piece because of the 15 all res, which is really strong in World PvP. Especially when we get you know, a bit of all res on Shoulders Enchant, Cloak Enchant, a couple of other items with it on the post bis list as well. Post raid, that is. So yeah, the, uh, the 15 all res is, is strong. I uh, don't think we've got anything else with the resists on here. And I think that's it. Uh, cloak, we've got Royal Tribunal. As Horde, you get the uh, Deep Woodlands Cloak. And that's a solid pick. Whereas Alliance, I think Royal Tribunal is probably the best you can get. Uh, chest, Alanas. If you can't get Alanas, then Necropile Chest is fine. You're going to lose some Int and Spirit, but you're going to gain a bit of damage. Um, but with the kind of mindset that we're going into this with, it, we're going for the maximum amount of int and stam, so Alana's is, is the best. Then we've got Necropile Cuffs. 
Uh, not too many options in terms of braces. There's a couple of others that kind of come close. But uh, I think Necropile is all, all round, kind of the most rounded item, and obviously you get the, the set bonus from it too. Uh, staff, you got kind of two options. You got the Trindlehaven staff from uh, Lower Black Rock Spire. And it's got a lot of int, a lot of stam, and some damage on. Or your other option is actually Glowing Brightwood Staff. It's got so much in on it. A little bit more stamina than Trindlehaven. And then you essentially, you're, you're trading the damage for that and a bit of spirit and nature res. So I'm tempted to say that this is actually even better than Trindlehaven. Um, by a fraction. But if you do want some damage, then Trindlehaven's fine. Or if you've got it, you know, either of these will be fine for World PvP. One, it's got to be Storm Rager. There's no other choice, really. The 1.3 speed, 8 stam, 5 in, we've talked about it before, is just a super solid wand all round. Gloves were going Silkweb. Um, there wasn't that much other choice. You can potentially go Felcloth if you are going the, the more damage route. And they're fine too, but they don't have any Int, which is kind of their Achilles heel, as it were. So I've gone for the Silkwebs, because they're just going to help keep our mana up a lot more. Dreadmist Belt, as we've said. Necropile Legs, really solid stats on this item all round. There's a couple of other options if you want to pick up a little bit of damage. You've got the Spirit Shrouds, which is a little bit less in and stam, but obviously the damage. And then Sacred Cloth, same thing really. A little bit more intellect than the Spirit Shrouds. A little bit less spirit, little less stamina, but, well, less damage as well. It's, it's more for the intellect you would go for those, but they're okay as well. And then if you really want a lot of damage, then you've got the Sky Shrouds, but you lose so much intellect going those... So overall, I've gone for the Necropile just to make us a bit more tanky with the four set. And then finishing that off with Necropile boots. Other options are Postmasters. Slightly better stats all round, but then you don't get the four set. And Malachis if you want some more damage. Uh, rings, we go for Blood of the Martyr and Magus Ring. And they just generally have the best in stam combo of any of the pre-raid stuff. Uh, you could potentially go for the Cyclopean Band if you want some damage as well. Emerald Flame is healing. Seal of Ruin Dare doesn't have Stam. Band of the Aerophant is okay. Um, but not as good as the uh, the other two options. And then Trinkets, we've actually gone for Double Mind Tap. Here you can potentially sub in a Briarwood Reed as well. and So you can go Briarwood Reed, Mind Tap. And you can switch around either which one for your unused Trinkets. Uh, I've just put double mind tap for now because it's we're going for like a nice hefty mana build, right? So double mind tap seems appropriate here. Uh, but you can you can sub in Briarwood if you have it if you want it. If you're feeling like you're lacking a little bit of damage, you know it's all about being versatile and being able to change up kind of on the spot, understanding what the situation needs, that sort of stuff. Obviously, you can change the helm for rocket helm and stuff like that as well. Uh, and then we've got the disc, uh, sorry, the shadow post raid uh, abyss list. And this one was a little bit trickier. We've got a few, uh, a few kind of contested picks, I guess, where I'm not 100% certain yet, but we've made a pretty good bet, I guess. Um, we're starting with the circle of prophecy, and to be honest, this one is relatively uncontested. You've got Halo of Transcendence, but it's healing. Circle of Prophecy actually has some damage on it. And they have about the same stats in terms of Int, Stam, all that good stuff. The only thing that the, the Halo has is the Frost Resistance extra. So if you're fighting mages, potentially want to grab that if you've got a few other pieces of Frost Res on, but by no means mandatory. Good. Well done, me. Um, Neck, we've got Choker of the Fire Lord. And this one was a little bit contested. Again, you can potentially go for Lady Maze just for the stats. There's so much intellect and stam on it. Um, but then you are losing 34 damage and healing, which is definitely a significant amount, and we shouldn't discount it. Even if we're going for uh, stam int, I think 34 damage and healing is so much that for the sake of 12 int and 3 stamina, it seems like a lot. And the other option here is Choker of Enlightenment. Now here we're only losing, what, 16? Uh, so we're losing 16 damage and healing for the sake of 3 int and 2 stamina. Now again, doesn't it, it seems like Choker of the Fire Lord is, is actually the best here. Just because of the amount of damage and healing on it, it's so much. 
uh, especially for a neck. Dark Advisor is obviously a really good pick as well. Same stamina and you're only losing 14 damage and healing. So if you can get this, it's, it's a good shout for sure. Um, but yeah, I think Choker of the Fire Lord just wins out all round. But again, you can use most of these necks and you'll be fine. The difference is not that significant in the necks. Um, so you've got a bunch of different choices and, and options here. But as this is the, this is the best list, we're going to go with the Choker. Shoulders, we've got Mantle of Prophecy. Again, it has damage and healing on. And we're actually getting five pieces of Prophecy overall. The five set, not that strong for us as Shadow. The three set, it's okay for when we have to pop out and start healing. But they're not, uh, they're not you know, Shadow set bonuses um, in any way. But the items do have really good stats on compared to what else is available. So only Epic available in, in this phase is going to be the Mantle of Prophecy. And it just beats out everything else in terms of raw stats. So no real contest there. Cloak again, same sort of, of reasoning. It just beats out everything in terms of raw stats, just hands down. Uh, Hide of the Wild is out in the Diamol uh, phase, but it's healing, so it's not going to be much use to us. So Saffron Drape is uh, Biss Cloak. And then Chest is still Alana's. The other option here, obviously, is the Robes of Prophecy, which has slightly more intellect, but no damage and healing. Uh, so again, you could go Robes of Prophecy here, that's fine too. Uh, I think Alana slightly beats it out. Um, you're trading 7 int for 3 spirit, 20 damage and healing, essentially. Uh, the Fire Rose is relatively negligible in PvP, I'd say. Wrists, Vambraces of Prophecy, and again, we don't really have that much choice here. They just have significantly more stats than everything else available, so even though they are healing, they're just better. Everything else on them is better. So we're going to go for those. Wand is still Storm Rager. Sorry, Staff. I forgot the best bit. Uh, staff, we got Anathema. Relatively easy to pick up from MC. Insane stats on it for Shadow. Beats everything else hands down, like, by a stupid amount. So, many, so much in, so much stam, so much damage. And it's got some bonus MP5 and Shadow Res as well. Like, it's insane, insane stuff. You're not going to come close to that this patch for Shadow, for sure. Uh, and, yeah, Wand is still Storm Rager. No changes there, and I think it stays for a couple of patches actually. And we got a quite a curious uh, pick for the gloves. We got gloves of the hypnotic flame, and the reason for that is they just have so much stamina in on. So even though they have fire damage on, and some of their budget is gone on that, uh, the stamina in make up for it with that little bit of damage, uh, and they just beat out gloves of prophecy and and everything else. To be honest, all the blues have just lower stamina in. And since that's kind of what we're, we're aiming for, Gloves of Hyp Hypnotic Flame actually win here. Uh, belt, we've got Sash of Whispered Secrets. And it actually doesn't have any int on, and you could potentially argue that Girdle of Prophecy is worth it. We're trading 22 int for 10 stamina, and what's that, 24 damage? Uh, but we gain the 4 MP5 as well, so I think either of these, these belts are fine. It kind of depends on what, what you're going for a little bit more. Um, I think Girl of Prophecy is, is is definitely a good pick. There is a lot of damage that you're losing out by, by taking it though, but 22 in, actually, I'm going to switch it over. I'm going to go for Girl of Prophecy here. I just think it's a superior pick for the set, you know, the mindset that we're going with here. So 22 in there. And then we've got the Pants of Prophecy. Again, only contest is really Mana Storm Legs, but they have a lot less Int and less Stam. Even though they do have some more MP5, it's going to take you about 90 seconds to recover the Int that you lose by taking them over Prophecy, and you're generally not in combat for 90 seconds. So, Pants of Prophecy generally a better all-round item. That's completely discounting the Spirit as well, by the way. Um, and Legs of Transcendence, again... They're actually slightly worse in terms of stats, which is which is weird. They gain one MP5 and they gain some healing, but we don't really care about that as Shadow. It's nasty to lose the Arcane Resist because it's always nice against Mages, but Panzer Prophecy are just significantly better, I'd say. Uh, boots, we've got Boots of Prophecy. Again, no real contest here. Uh, they're not that good, but again, there's nothing really that is. So they just win by being the best of a bad bunch, to be honest with you. Uh, rings, we've got Band of Sulfurus and Seal of Archmage, uh, Archmagus. And uh, 
this this pick is kind of a little bit contested i think i don't know i feel like people don't like this ring but it, i think it's low-key really strong like six all res is just handy handy to have uh it's got good in it's got good stam on bonus spirit and some mp5 and yeah okay it doesn't have anywhere near the end that band of sulfurous has but this is unique so we can't have two otherwise we would but I think that there isn't there isn't another good option to be out of the seal. Uh, Blood of the Martyr, slightly more stam, a little bit less in, but then you're losing all that res, spirit, and MP5, so I don't think it beats it for me. Uh, other options are, I guess, Cyclopean if you want some damage. People have been talking about Ring of Spell Power, Underworld Band, but again, we're not really going for damage, right? We're trying to go for, for survivability and, and longevity, so that's kind of the reason I picked that here. And I think it's a pretty solid, solid ring. In terms of just beefing up all round stats. Trinkets, we've got Shard of the Scale. Solid MP5 on it. Easy, easy pick up for Shadow. And this is going to help you a lot in, you know, your longer battles and your, well, PvP stuff. Uh, where you're not just instantly killing somebody. And you're getting into back-to-back -back fights, stuff like that. It's going to, it's going to be really noticeable, I think. And then, finally, we've got the Talisman. And... This is just going to make you chunk when you pop this bad boy. Um, good luck getting it as a priest if you get it. Congrats. Otherwise, you're going to be waiting. Uh, unless you get it from like a pug, you're going to be waiting until after the mages and warlocks get it at least. Um, but yeah, if you're patient, pick it up. I think it's a good good pick. And it's going to be for a couple of phases. Uh, so that's everything. If you have any slots that you don't agree with, or if you don't agree with the mindset or anything, or you've got a counter argument anything like that i'd love to hear it uh, that's kind of how we improve and learn and stuff like that so please let me know in the comments i hope you like the video i will be uploading these sets to death blind as well as i have done with all the other ones and yeah cheers for watching have a good one